Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookworm here and today I've got real awesome stuff from the US. Uh, it's uh, actually a collection of both, as you can see, original Gold's Gym and even Mr. Olympia t-shirts. Um, we're just going to go through quickly some belts, very, very special collection of weightlifting belts, as well as a whole bunch of books and booklets from uh, you know the golden era so let's get straight into it um, really excited about this collection of vintage gold's gym um, equipment or well, in particular not really there's, a, there's not much of it except for this uh, original tank top as you can see it's um it's actually kind of a yellowy at the top it's been used by obviously a bodybuilder and it's got the original design from from Rick Drazen. This is the kind that was, I guess, worn, you could say, around a very late 70s, early uh, 1980s. Um, it's just really as old school as I've seen it. One of the actual first ever uh, tank tops from Gold's Gym. I mean, of course, this is in Everett. Uh, I'm assuming Massachusetts. But um, you can see the design itself. This is when Gold's was really expanding. Um, I know that the very original Gold's tank was the the uh, Gold's and the Gold's gym and um, the image were a lot smaller. But then they, the the kind of second generation tank tops, which I believe this is one of those, um, were a little bit larger. But um, yeah, this is just really a unique piece. Super happy to have this. Going to hang this up on my on my gym wall and stuff. Just uh, that's where it belongs really really nice piece um, of course as well from Gold's Gym I've got this belt and I've got a whole collection of belts which I'm going to go through in a minute but um, it's going on the theme of t-shirts right now we have an original 1976 Mr. Olympia t-shirt uh, as you can see uh, <laughs> a bit faded Loved and worn, but it's a gorgeous piece. Again, ready to hang up on my gym. Uh, yeah, 1976, the year, of course, that Franco Colombo won the Olympia. May he rest in peace. One final t-shirt I got is quite a rare one, too. It's from the Best in the World comp competition in 1979. As you can see, written here at the bottom, held in... Um, or I'm not sure if that's an advertisement or not. Uh, I think it was sponsored by Olympus Gym and Spa. During the time, I believe, when they were writing, or just about finishing writing, um, the you know maybe Volume 1, 2 or 3 of Three More Reps, from George Snyder, where the interviews with all the Golden Era legends, these were like a legendary series of books, which have got them all, of course. Uh, but Best in the World uh, was a competition that, that I actually own some of the negatives of and they are just absolutely awesome and glad to have the accompanying merchandise such as this t-shirt from the best in the world competition where I believe you had uh, uh, competitors uh, such as Dickerson and Boyako and Padilla etc all the golden era legends were in it of course save Arnold who had already retired but it was one of the best competitions back then uh, the best in the world it was a really great, well organized competition. So, now going into the weight belts, besides these awesome t shirts and merchandise from comps back then, I've also got this Gold's Gym original. You can see it's worn out, uh, you know, really old Gold's Gym original leather weight belt. And actually, a few months ago, I began a project getting a whole bunch of weightlifting belts signed by a lot of legends of the Iron Game. And I'm going to go through these right now. First I want to show one, is the, the one I want to show first is this waiter belt, quite light in color. Um, and it's of course been signed, I've got a couple actually from Danny now. Uh, best of luck, Dan Padilla. Right, so that's Danny Padilla, the giant killer of course, one of the Mr. America and... Um, of course, golden era legend, the giant killer, Danny Padilla. Again from Danny, I've got this uh, a little bit of a later Gold's Gym weight belt. Um, signed by Dan Padilla, there it is. 
I like this one better because he actually signs it um, in the right direction. And uh, yeah, it's a very nice belt, of course. Uh, this is a light variation. This time it's a Gold's Gym belt by Danny, who signed it. Thank you very much, Danny, for signing these. I, I really appreciate it. Uh, I got, again, from, from another Golden Era legend, we've got here a Weeder belt by Frank Zane. Mr. Olympia 77, 78, and 79. Now that is awesome. Thank you so much, Frank, for signing this for me. Um, yeah. So along with uh, the belts from Danny, uh, Frank, I've already shown you. I've also got one from Tom signed, Tom Platts. One from Robbie Robinson. Believe it or not, I was fortunate to get Don Howarth. The Duke of Delts, who did a great job here. Mr. America, 1967. Uh, making a really beautiful, colourful Weta uh, belt signature here for me. Don Howarth, the Duke of Delts, Mr. America, 1967. Love that one. I love how much effort he put into it. Thank you so much, Don. You're awesome. Thanks for that, man. And um, finally, I've also had the fortune, of course, of interviewing the one and only... C.T. Fletcher, who also signed his powerlifting belt for me there. C.T. Fletcher, it's still your, you know what, <laughs> set. So, um, yeah, again, thank you to C.T. Fletcher for the wonderful um, uh, yeah, honor to, to have a, a, a belt signed by the great man. So, I yeah, really enjoy having this collection of weight belts, which now I'm going to hang up in my gym, and which I actually will call the Wall of Strength. Because it's got so many awesome signatures now from so many different golden era legends. Super happy about that. And finally, as mentioned, I've got a whole bunch of books that arrived from the US. Uh, some quite old, as you can see, and some more modern. For example, got this one from Frank Zane. Thank you for your business. Thank you, Frank. And this is Overcoming Weak Points, his absolute latest book, which of course he always signs for me. Very appreciated, Frank. Available, of course, at his website, franksane.com. I like the fact that he addresses in all of his literature almost everything you can ever think of. Uh, Frank is very, very diligent in that respect, pretty much sharing almost everything he could ever think of over the years, starting with his booklets in the early 70s and, and mid, mid yeah, I, could, I should say mid to, to late 70s. And um, always pl uh, paid particular attention in informing the public about bodybuilding. There is um, some really awesome um, images in here. Things that you wouldn't expect, you know, Frank to be doing like almost powerlifting movements here. And... Um, you know, this is this book is really for finishing the physique, from what I understand. Um, you can really see the kind of equipment as well that, that Frank was used to using. Uh, all the different types of exercises he recommends specifically for certain body parts, uh, which is what this what this book is really about, overcoming weak points. If you've got a specific weak points, look at the tricep on Frank. It's amazing. Um, he really tells you how to address certain weak points which i guess is very important for those who are finishing off their physique i guess for competition really um i love that he he really um goes through some very specific exercises this one for example is one that he i'm assuming he would have learned uh either from larry scott or vince geronda that was practiced in the golden era um and it's actually the elbow out uh close grip bench press uh, this, there's a lot of exercises here that you'll see um, that are not very much, not, not, not practiced much these days, right? And um, they are specifically for working these areas that, that we don't really pay much attention to, like, for example, your grip, right? Your forearms. These are exercises that are not really done much today, right? And I, I really like that. Look at the calves of Frank, Jesus, right? Freaking phenomenal. He did have phenomenal calves. Um, I highly recommend his calves booklet too. And yeah, he goes through each body part, going through all the different um, 
body parts, I guess, and, and the kind of exercises that allow you to accentuate, to accentuate these body parts. And from what I can see, there's a lot of exercises here from, from Vince's gym and, and pretty much exercises that not many people know to do these days anymore. I see a lot of influence here from Vince Gironda. I'm not claiming that, uh, that Frank learned from Vince. Um, again, the information that Vince learned as well and passed on later was known to a lot of these bodybuilders, right? That's why they all had these, all had these legendary physiques. But... In many ways, I can see a lot of similarities here from Frank's uh, knowledge, very similar to Vince's knowledge. That's what I'm trying to say here. These exercises that are not performed are very similar to Vince's and just goes to show the amount of knowledge they had back then. And they had a process of, of building their physique over time with strength and mass first and then more finesse, finishing off the physique by overcoming weak points again. A great book from Frank, highly recommend all of Frank's work, all available at his website. I'll keep that as a bookmark. Thank you, Frank, for signing up. Uh, I've also got here, that came with that. I always keep Frank's, I always keep Frank's, um, Frank's, uh, uh, the packaging, you know, the, the actual, um, uh, these uh, cardboard envelopes that, Frank sends his stuff to us when he sends something out to me like that. I always keep it because I like, of course, keeping anything from Frank, including the envelopes. Along that, along with that, I've got, of course, a, a mag. Here's Mr. America, Chuck Sipes. Quite a rare mag. I've been trying to get this one for a while. I've only got three more Mr. Americas left to purchase, and I've got them all. Uh, this is in great condition. And I've also bought several uh, Jack LaLanne booklets from the 60s, 50s and 70s How to Reduce Your Waste a very, very tiny little booklet Jack LaLanne Foods for Glamour so yeah, I mean oh, it's got a little thank you bookmark there and yeah, love reading his work it's very practical very easy to apply as Jack LaLanne always targeted the general public and not just bodybuilders. He wanted health for all, just like Eugene Sandow. Uh, diets I found to be the most effective. There's Jack Relaine again. Um, you know, really simple information. Very easy to absorb. Help for your waist, hips and thighs. Again, these are really the most problem areas for most people. And once you actually tone those body parts, the rest of the body kind of tones itself too. And again, this is very, very simple. Uh, when you combine this kind of information for just for the layman diets and you know hips and thighs, I mean, super easy and, and they're fit and healthy, and that's what Jack was trying to preach, of course. Your favorite exercises for each area of the body. Now, this is a really great little booklet. Again, just using um, basic home gym equipment. Uh, these these are excellent booklets on on how to um, uh, work out at home with nothing really. Uh, it's a great, will make a great series, I guess, for me to talk about this stuff, either with Elaine, who's still alive, thank God, or just uh, talk about the exercises here, because as you can see, Jack uses books, chairs, and household appliances to basically help you get fit, and I know that um, with COVID still around, and I mean, there's not many restrictions around the world, but nevertheless, not everybody wants to bodybuild. And that's the point, I mean, with Jack Lane, And I think that's what would make some of these videos rather interesting in, in picking out some of Jack Lane's favorite exercises done at home and just, you know, showing you guys what Jack was all about. I think, you know, having information of how to train at home with simple appliances is very useful to everybody. So I might do a, a small series on Jack in that respect. Now, here's a great book that I've never seen before. The Jack LaLanne Way to Vibrant Good Health. I believe it was written in the 60s or the late 50s. I have to have a look in here where the copyright is. Uh, 1960. And again, a great, it's you know, about 200 pages from what I understand. 220 pages or so. And we see, uh, you know, the basics about... Uh, You'll find oh, some very early photos of, of Jack. Um, fat and diet and 
yeah, whatever, stuff like that. The way to good health. Eventually, though, the book gets into a reducing plan. That is weight loss and muscle building with the foods that he recommends, diet, etc. And then, of course, uh, the exercise plan, right? Uh, again, he, he talks a lot about diet, almost over 100 pages on diet alone, right? Because just like Vince Gironda, by the way, Jack LaLanne was very well acquainted with Vince Gironda back in the day. And you can see how important diet is to health overall. That's why he spends such a long time in the book talking about um, diet, right? And he gives some very interesting recipes here, like the vitamin B cocktail, you know, half and half. Again, very much like, like Vince Gironda. Brew is yeast, wheat germ, egg and honey. Uh, a very uh, high protein, uh, nutri super nutritious meal. There's some great little tips in these books again. All that kind of silver era diet kind of stuff. Amazing stuff here. And then of course, uh, after he goes all about diet till about <laughs> three quarters of the, of the way through this book, he finally, finally starts talking about weight <laughs> and um, starts giving all these exercises, of course, of how to train at home. Um, and I really like these because you really see Jack looking, you know, as healthy as he is and doing all these exercises, some really awesome exercises in, in this book, you know, working your wrists, your, your triceps, chest, everything back and um, gives a great little program. So. And again, Jack Elaine's work is, is always brilliant. I always like uh, reading it. Uh, the man was so much full, full of so much information. Here's a, uh, another book, Jack Elaine's Slim and Trim Diet and Exercise Guide. I'm assuming it was now the 70s with color books. And again, as you can see, he's using home gym equipment, you know, books and chairs and, and all that kind of stuff and teaching you how to get fit. Again, rare photos. He loves the photos. And um, it's all about getting fit, right? So awesome stuff from the man, Jack Lane, And I believe that's it. Yes, it is. So as you've seen, a lot of books from Jack Lane, Magazines. Booklets from the great man, Frank Zane. Put all that aside. And also, I received, as I showed you earlier, uh, some t-shirts and weight belt. So, can't complain with this lot. It's bloody awesome. <laughs> Got everything from Old Gold's Gym and Mr. Olympia t-shirts, you know, books, magazines, Silver Era diets and exercises. Bloody brilliant. So stoked. Again, thank you to my good friend Rudy who who uh, sent all this for me. Really appreciate it. And all those that helped me out. Uh, thank you guys. And if you have enjoyed this video, please give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so yet. Leave me your comments. And yeah, if you want to see more of these What's in the Mails, we'll keep doing them as more treasures come my way. Anyway, that's it from me. Hope you enjoyed the video. This is the Golden Era Bookworm saying bye for now. Now, if you're interested in learning more about how Steve Reeves developed his ribcage, I've got a wonderful new e-booklet up on my website, www.goldenerabookroom.com, which explains a very rare and unpublished Reeves ribcage and full body routine. Of course, my website has many other booklets on Steve Reeves' methods, specifically how I developed my waist, how I developed my broad shoulders, and another ebook on how he developed his wonderful diamond-shaped calves. All available on my website, www.goldenerabookworm.com. Online training is now available, including my new program, Novice to Classic, a program geared towards beginners and novices looking at developing a classic physique, as well as Classic Cut, geared at those who wish to lose weight and gain muscle fast. Details available at www.goldenerabooking.com. Need a bodybuilding poster for your gym or office? Then check out ironmanmagazinearchive.smugmug.com for the highest quality posters on the planet. Scroll through the galleries of all the legends, including greats such as Arnold, Frank Zane, Sergio Oliva, Serge Nubre, Tom Platz, and Larry Scott, and much, much more, and select your poster now.
As a natural bodybuilder, it is imperative to know your own testosterone levels as they are a reflection of the anabolic environment created by your diet and training. I would highly recommend using the male hormone test kit from Let's Get Checked and make sure you use my code GOLDEN30 for a 30% discount. Again, the advantage of checking yourself regularly is that you will know how well your body is anabolically primed to put on the much desired muscle you are working for. Get your gym wear and golden era apparel at the new golden era tees shop featuring designs from the silver era and golden era legends available as tanks, shirts, sweatshirts and hoodies in all sizes and colors. To support your favorite YouTube channel, please visit teespring.com slash store slash golden era bookworm for merchandise including t-shirts, hoodies, face masks, phone cases and much, much more. Once again at teespring.com slash store slash golden era bookworm. Become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm for hard to find books, scans of rare photos and articles on the golden era of bodybuilding. If you're a fan of old school bodybuilding, then make sure to check out Sups the Movie. Filmmaker Alex Ardenti explores the $40 billion sports supplement industry, delving into the origins, evolution, and current state of supplements used by millions of fitness enthusiasts worldwide, available at Amazon and Vimeo.